Uh, let's jump into uh, the demos, and uh, I'd like to uh, start with uh, Manton Rees and Michael Blog in the Fediverse, who has some new features, features to uh, show off. Manton, take it from here. Hi. Thanks. Hi, everybody. I'm Manton, um, founder of Micro.blog. Uh, let me just try to share my screen real quick. Uh, let's see. Let me know if you can all see that when it, when it pops up. Um, we started micro.blog, uh, launched it in 2017, and uh, added ActivityPub support 2018. And I'll just go real quick through it. We do have native apps for iOS, macOS, Android, but I'm just going to show the web version. Um, so this is the timeline. You can follow people on micro.blog or the Fediverse. So I can see already I've got some people right here that are on Mastodon or some other server. Uh, mentions, bookmarks, discover section. We highlight posts. This is hand curated to help people uh, find people to follow. Um, there's no trends or algorithms. We kind of try to uh, not make social networks a popularity contest. No follower counts, no like counts. Um, but at its core, micro.blog is really uh, a blogging platform. So I can click on my posts. I can edit them. I can use Markdown. I have standalone posts on my blog. Uh, manage uploads, photos, videos, podcasts, things like that. Uh, categories, design, I can have, you know, themes. Um, all the back end runs through Hugo. So when you post to micro.blog, you're actually getting a statically generated site, plugins, newsletters, so, things like that. Right now they're... Question? Nope. Nope. Oh. <laughs> um, and uh, we also have a bunch of other features like keeping track of what books you're reading and... Um, and we do that kind of stuff because uh, it helps to have something integrated in the platform so you can post to your own blog, at your own domain, even for these types, this type of content that normally would be on some um, data silo somewhere. Uh, so let me show you real quick what my blog looks like. Of course, you can have different themes and you could customize the design. Most of what I post now is short posts, photo posts, uh, a few longer posts. I also have pages for like different photos I've posted replies to other people. Um, we have a tweets import uh, that we added recently. Um, so you can import your whole archive of tweets to your blog and allow people to search or find things just in case Twitter continues to implode. You have a copy of all that stuff uh, for yourself. So how does this integrate with the Fediverse? Uh, the reason we're actually here, let me pop open uh, anyweb.social, uh, Mastodon instance, of course, and micro.blog is hosting my domain uh, my site at my own domain name, manson.org. And so I can come up with any handle. Basically, I just chose the kind of redundant at manson, at manson.org. I can search for my user, pull it up. And of course, you know, these are my blog posts, same as on my blog, but they were sent out via activity pub. So people um, in the Fediverse can follow me. Um, so that is the kind of real quick run through of integration. Of course, you can follow people on Mastodon, you know, from micro.blog as well. Uh, the other thing, a couple of new things, and one thing I wanted to show kind of behind the scenes, if I click on account uh, and edit sources and cross-posting, micro.blog works kind of like an aggregator where you can have feeds that are either hosted by micro.blog, like this is in my own domain name, uh, that are RSS or JSON feeds or Atom feeds, um, but you can have more than one. So I could add like WordPress feed, or something else, uh, and micro.blog brings those posts into the platform, and from there, it can send things out. So uh, in addition to ActivityPub, we can post to Ma Medium, Mastodon, LinkedIn, Tumblr, Flickr. I don't have these enabled uh, right now, but I do have Blue Sky, which we added recently, uh, Noster, so it sends your blog post out you know, via Noster Relay, and then PixelFed. And that's one of the things I wanted to highlight. We just added PixelFed support in addition to Mastodon, because you might want, like you might want to, Maybe you have a photo blog at photos dot your domain name or something like that, but you also want to maintain a pixel fed uh, presence because you have people following you over there. Micro.blog, when you post to your photo blog, will automatically take those photos and copy them out to pixel fed. So um, it's it, it, there's a couple different ways you can balance things, and I like that flexibility because some people like to maintain different presences on different uh, networks, and some people like to just have everything in one place. Uh, so that is micro.blog, and thanks for having me. Looking forward to the discussions today. Look at this. Um, thank you. Thanks, Martin. You were actually ahead of time. Uh, amazing. 